Hello, Group Galaxy Entertainment here. Uh, really quick video. My friend Trevor from Tron Media helped me set up a Xbox emulator. Yes, it's a, it's possible now. Like OG Xbox, creepy sounds, childhood nightmares, original Xbox. You know, big old Duke controller, big black computer looking thing, connect to your TV, Xbox. Um, in the past, I've done um, some uh, gameplay showing how... Uh, a video gameplay of, of showing how uh, X-Link Kai worked. And we're still going to be using X-Link Kai for some games like Halo for now. And maybe in the future like for different LAN party stuff. But I am uh, I got my code for, for Insignia. And I've been playing a little bit online with Conker's Bad Fur Day, Call of Duty, and soon Tetris and Star Wars Clone Wars because they just added it on Monday. Like a couple days ago on Monday. Um... I'm literally just testing out the emulator right now. I'm not even like connected to my online account through Insignia, or I'm not connected on X-Link High or whatever. But more info in the description. I'm gonna see if I can get Trevor after it help me with that. I'm just gonna upload this raw. I'm playing Tetris until I lose. I have no clue how long this video is gonna be. I'm stuck in level five, and the timer keeps, you know exceeding a pa like after zero so I can't um, progress past five but I've been playing this non-stop so let's do a quick little audio test I'll turn my mic off probably because it's gonna be a lot of me yelling and swearing basically so I'm turning the mic off I just wanted to say what I'm doing here oh I gotta go back to the uh, game itself a minute oh there's no audio now from the game whatsoever That should be good. So, uh, yeah, enjoy. I'm going to play this until I lose, which might be now because I've been messing around with the pause, uh, trying to get this all set up. So, uh, yeah, Tetris uh, World on the original Xbox, and until I lose. You know, if I do lose, I might play one more game just because you haven't seen me start from level one.
Okay, finally. I think if I did that right, I finally beat level 5. Let's uh, let's check that out. I'm pretty sure I did. I hope I did, because that was driving me insane, in case you didn't notice towards the end. A lot, lot of, like I said, a lot of mumbling and swearing off uh, mic. Yep, level 6. Hey! I think I'm going to continue for another eh, 10 minutes or so, and then, you know, probably break my stuff, so... Yeah.
Well, I'm gonna end it right here. Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed whatever the heck this was. And uh, back to regular scheduled programming. I'm working on some uh, edits right now for a uh, Christmas commercial video, like from commercials I found on videotapes. I got about like 50 or 60 videotapes I am going through. And about 10 or 20 of them have, uh, no, maybe that, not maybe, maybe about 5 or 10 of them have Christmas commercials. So, I got that, plus maybe some people might be sending me their clips of, uh, Christmas commercials they have on tape also. So, that should be coming out next, uh, couple of weeks. I'm also working on the A&W filming location commercial. I had some issues with that because I had internet outage issues, and it was my fault. I'm probably gonna make a video about that in the future. But long story short, I had my internet plugged in wrong to my computer. I know it sounds very stupid, especially all the stuff I've done on my channel in the past, but um, I made one little mistake. My mom got scared and moved my... No, no, no. But I made one little mistake and it rendered my internet upstairs basically useless. Um, I have fiber optic internet like 1,500 down. I was only getting about 40. <laughs> and it was on and off constantly for about a week or so. So um, we finally fixed that. Um, me and Trevor had a good laugh with that afterwards because I didn't realize I make such a stupid rookie mistake with all the years of messing with this stuff. But uh, I had the extender, one of the Wi-Fi extenders, working as the internet because I forgot to plug in the switch in the basement, which connects to the router upstairs. So I think I'm gonna make a video next of just me playing Tetris level one to maybe five or six. And then I'm going to stop this for a bit and go back to my uh, projects I'm working on for the Christmas videos. So, uh, bye for now. Thanks for watching. This was Tetris Worlds for the original Xbox on an emulator. Legit copy. I do own a copy of this game. I'm not, you know, doing any... My controller quit working. I'm not doing any... Uh... Oh, I'm not clicked on the... There we go. This is a legit copy of the game. I have two copies of this game. My first one I played so much when I was little. I like the Star Wars Clone Wars multiplayer. I played it so much when I was little, the whole middle of the disc shattered. I, it still works. Held together with super glue. Still have it. Uh, well, yes, but can I save and quit or no? Oh, well. Well, bye for now, and uh, thanks for watching. Tetris Worlds gameplay. And in the future, I can play it online because now uh, Insignia is a thing. The story mode for this game is very interesting. Yes, Tetris has a story mode.